We are in Tuscany, heading for the Coldoccia estate to the west of Montalcino, where we are meeting Conte Francesco Marone Cinzano. It's a real thrill to discover this famous wine area, known for its Brunello wines, where the Etruscans grew grapes 3,000 years ago. Originally from Piemonte, the Maroni Cinzano family settled in this very special area in 1973. When people visit uh, Condorcia and visit the uh, and taste the wines, uh, we always talk about the, the team effort that uh, is needed for uh, to achieve the quality that uh, they find in the glass. So the the contribution, the uh, 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 passion, uh, the dedication that uh, so many people put in their everyday work to to achieve such quality. Now we're bottling 2014 now, so in one, one year's time, next spring, we will be bottling this and this will be released in uh, January 2020. Okay. The big difference is not from the lo one year longer in the barrel, it's from uh, the climate of the season, uh, the, the element. Uh, I was reading this morning, someone asked me where I read it, I don't remember where I read it, but uh, uh, another one of the many definitions of terroir. So they were saying that the soil is the, is the spartito. Spartito is where you write music. The, uh, the, the, the vine, the Sangiovese, is the instrument. Yeah? And, and, and man is the director, orchestra director. It's also a dream for us at Cordoccia to uh, receive uh, wine lovers and uh, to share with them the passion uh, we put into the production of our wines and show them how uh, this uh, unique territory delivers uh, uh, incredible wines and uh, what I call a, a, ma a magic formula of uh, the land, uh, grape and uh, uh, shaped by the hand of man. So a lot of differences in Montalcino. And what I really want to convey as a message to you is that there is not only one Montalcino, not only one Brunello. There are many, many differences due to the soil that you see in the picture, to the climate and to the interpretation that the orchestra director we were talking about before. I consider it's the best place possible to test the wine. Uh, and why? is because it's giving you a chance to actually talk with the people from the winery, to understand uh, exactly from them what it makes it so special. It's about the climate, it's about the, the soil, the minerals, uh, and uh, exactly what they do in the winery to keep it, to ed age it for five years in, in the case of Brunello de Montalcino, five years or more. I, I knew about this wine before I came. We actually booked this trip uh, in February when we decided that we'll come here for our anniversary, to, to spend our, our anniversary today here. It's the only place in Italy, the only place in Europe, the only place in the world where Sangiovese is by law of the state used by itself, uh, cannot be uh, uh, mixed with any other grape. And uh, uh, I believe Sangiovese has adapted to the local conditions uh, uh, and uh, has uh, really uh, given us uh, a unique present, a unique uh, uh, trophy. Well, we try to uh, uh, convey uh, everything in a very transparent way. We like to show uh, uh, the cellar, we like uh, to have visitors during the harvest time. We have no secrets uh, and um, uh, wine, after all, is uh, a lot about sharing. The ancient concept of, you know, when grapes did not travel, because they were transported on, uh, on a, uh, by ox, so it was very, very slow. Everything was done on location. The wine was, uh, uh, the vineyards were on location, the, uh, the cellar and the bottling takes place here on, at Cordorcia. So the traditional territorial estate concept. We like to think that uh, we are uh, 
looking after the land, we're looking after our environment in the way that uh, man has done for thousands of years. So it is uh, um, a give and take relationship with, uh, with, with land, with Mother Earth, and uh, uh, not taking more than uh, we should and uh, giving back as much as we can. The Mediterranean breeze is touching us as we relax in the beautiful garden of the estate. I, I think the, the culture of wine is uh, increasing and uh, there are more and more wine lovers from, from different countries and, uh, uh, and they understand uh, uh, and they are every year more interested in pairings and uh, uh, which wine goes with what uh, dish and uh, how to uh, enjoy wines at their best. It is an emotion because you, you become part of it. You feel you are part of, you see the history, you see the cellar, you see the big, the big barrels, the small barrels as well. Uh, and then uh, uh, definitely it's, uh, it's something special. And the fact that I was given the opportunity to taste the wine from the barrels directly, for me it's an outstanding uh, treat. It's always very rewarding to show people the wines and, uh, and talk together how the wines can be uh, uh, enjoyed uh, at their best and the, the pairings and uh, trying to find the, the best emotions from each wine uh, and uh, drinking it in the most suitable occasion. So it's, uh, it's always a learning curve, uh, uh, understanding what people uh, like to pair wines with and. Uh, so it, it goes both ways. It's uh, rewarding to show them what we know, what we have learned over time, uh, but also share their experiences and, uh, 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 and both learn at the same time. We certainly didn't expect to be gripped by such strong emotion and feel an almost childish happiness. We are really happy to be able to experience the life on this farm for a day. Happy as we discover the joy of feeling excited in front of a glass of wine. It makes us feel alive, and there's more to come.